Hey y'all, this is Greg coming at you from the Peaceful Glen Homestead in Central Virginia, home of the Central Virginia Permaculture Institute. It's been two weeks since I have updated on the rocket mass heater build. Uh, today is a major day, it's a major accomplishment, as you'll see in just a second. But, okay, this is the third build of the stove in the same place. Uh, I had some major malfunction with build number one on the riser. Uh, I used a clay pipe uh, chimney liner and that cracked after about the fourth burn. Um, then the second uh, reconstruction of the the burn tunnel and the heat riser, I used a four inch pipe Now it was too small of a diameter. That didn't work so all I had was a lot of blowback of exhaust, <clears throat> smoke, etc. Had to rip the thing down and uh, now this is build number three and we're in good shape. We've got a six inch um, <clears throat> clay pipe chimney liner for the feed tube, but then we have fire brick for the burn tunnel and I have a steel riser, six inch, <clears throat> all you know engineered to, to match the specs with about a two inch gap at the top of the uh, barrel. Now the thing that's been the taken the longest to finish is this um, heat this heat transfer mass. Uh, that's hard work. It's heavy stuff that you're messing with, you're excavating, etc. I, I won't go through all the details in this video because video one and two and the pictures all document what I did for the heat mass. But essentially, I used this uh, type of block right here, and these are basically chunks of exposed aggregate concrete. Uh, at my other place before I sold it, I had to rip apart a walkway, and I knew I was going to do this, so I, I did it in chunks that I could handle. Those things are pretty heavy. Um, <clears throat> I haven't weighed them, but they're probably 60 pounds a piece. And the face of the mass, I use these blocks all the way across. And inside the mass, there are a dozen or so of those blocks. But the basic thing is I used, I excavated four and a half inches below grade and I dropped these blocks in to make the base foundation. Um, so that's where my heat transfer starts from below grade up. So this is an actual uh, mass, a heat mass that uh, comes in at, it's about 19 inches. Where are we at here? It's about 19 inches to the top of uh, the mass and we are about 37 and a half, 38 inches deep from front to back. Uh, the mass is, uh, it's got these bricks right here. Uh, a friend of mine, a construction friend of mine, tore down a chimney. He brought that to me <clears throat> and I used that uh, old brick that's probably 70, 80 years old. So it's got some paver base type sand just to fill in in between spots. I leveled off the top of the brick and then I laid these la landscape uh, pavers on top of that to give me a flat surface uh, to put my 55 gallon drums of water. Uh, I have enough room from here to that side of the mass to put three 55 gallon drums and then I'll put a little small 35 gallon metal drum right there. The the drums will, uh, I'll probably have another video that explains this later in detail, but I'm going to run a hydraulic system through the three barrels, come down and uh, go into earth mass uh, roughly 18 to 30 inches with a um, geothermal 
I call it a hydraulic system, but that's only because it's going to have water passing through it, but it's geothermal that will go through the earth mass, and it'll connect to this poly piping right here that goes outside into the passive solar collector. So there's multiple layers of heat opportunities in this greenhouse. And again, this is a this is a trial and error situation and any of you that are expecting to do this, I want you to know that it is a lot of work. That's not meant to discourage you, but it is meant to let you know that this stuff does not come easy. You can gather the material over a period of time, three months, six months, a year, two years even. In some cases, some of this material I've gathered for two years to construct this entire living system. Uh, but the original plan was from a drawing that I saw in a Bill Mollison um, uh, it, it was out of a book that he wrote back in the 70s and basically it was a chicken house with a greenhouse on the front of it with a lot of opportunity for heat passive solar heat collection all right uh, if you got any questions uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, everything will be in full disclosure I've had failures but now I have a success at this point I think it's going to take a long time for this mass to begin to collect the heat because it's uh, the material has been in the weather um, you know the block it's it's been wet around here for three weeks we've had lots of rain lots of snow and ice uh, the inside of the greenhouse is wet it's moist conditions in here the temperature right now is 50 about 56 degrees inside uh, I'll probably burn this through the evening come out and recharge the, the the burn the feed tunnel there or the feed chamber a couple of times and and just try to get uh, as much heat into that mass as possible and begin the process of uh, curing out um, the mortar and what I used was a mixture of red clay off my property and uh, a bag of cheap Lowe's or Home Depot mortar mix and uh, a little bit of paver sand so it was it was mortar mix that was uh, already